So for today, we're going to be ranking all of these seasonal ornaments from previous seasons. So season of the undying all the way up to the current season, which is season of the defiance. We're going to be ranking them in a tier list. Uh, so S, A, B, C, and S. To be real, not probably none of them are going to go into the ass category because I have some few things that I will explain wh uh, why I won't do that. But needless to say, we're going to be looking at an, a lot of armor set. I still haven't decided if I'm going to be showing you all of the armor while we we're doing this because um, it'll be easier to explain my thought process if you guys if you guys actually can see what I'm talking about. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it. This is going to be a fun video for me because it's going to be a lot of editing. And just a lot of fun because we're going to go wild. Uh, I have no script for this. So we're going to see just how I feel about all of this armor set. So again, let me know what you guys think. Which tiers would you put these armor sets? Let me know. Other than that, let's look into it. So to start off, we're going to be looking at Season of the Undying. And I'm going to be real with you. I do think this is going to be an S tier easily. Just because it is the premium look for Vex. If you always want to go for like a Vex look, you're definitely going to want to go for Season of the Undying just because that armor set is peak. Now, unfortunately, a lot of these armor sets are not available anymore aside from the current one, which is Defiance. You can get Defiance and we'll see where that one goes because I still haven't decided. But for Season of the Undying, I think it started really, really strong with the Vex look. Now, if I did have some gripes about it, I would say that maybe we should have gotten the VOG uh armor specifically the um the second version of it i forget what it's called the uh, the moments of triumph i think what's called i think if we had that armor set i think it would be really good because then you could combine it with the season of the undying set but i'm gonna be real uh season of the undying was really strong for season of dawn it's also an s tier easily i actually think this is the best ornament in the game just because a lot of the pieces are super dope it came from a season that was really cool as well season of dawn was really cool because it was mo mostly focused around osiris and saint 14 and we really get we really got some really good saint 14 inspired armor which i think is just super dope the like i can really just talk about this armor for a long time because each of the each of the classes got some really dope sets the titans got probably best fed because all most of their pieces are super dope but the hunter also got some cool sets the boots are super dope the helmet super dope the cloak is super dope the warlocks the helmet is super cool chest piece is super cool boots are super cool everything is super cool like every piece i utilize in almost everything i do because everything is just so good so if you guys wanted to know my opinion the virtuous set is a s tier it's the best ornament season pass ornament we have in the game currently next up is going to be season of the worthy this one i'm gonna probably put in b tier and that that's gonna be probably a little weird for some people um me mostly it's just the fact that a lot of the pieces are kind of goofy like the hunters have like this russian hat for the cloak which is okay but then like the the arms for the titans i'm not the biggest fan of and then the warlocks chest piece although cool very like militaristic and whatnot it also kind of it, it's a little goofy not like super duper but like it's a little uh, even though i've made some cool sets with that chess piece but uh also I'll, i will be uh posting all of my reviews for all of these because i have reviewed all of them since since season of even dying so hopefully i can do well i won't be able to do that much because it only lets me post four but we'll see i'll, I'll just show you the picture and you guys can look it up i guess but for season of the worthy it's gonna be b tier uh which is higher than i thought it would be to be quite honest but let me know what you guys think for arrivals i'm actually gonna put it in b tier as well i'm not the biggest fan of a lot of pieces that being said i know hunters are gonna give me shit because that cloak is really good for a blackout look but if like realistically like a lot of the pieces are just not that great uh the warlock's chest piece i think looks really really gross and i i can go i can i can really like just thrash this armor because it's just not good a lot of the pieces are just not good and you guys will hear that a lot from me where it's like the i'll find redeeming pieces like oh like all of the armor sucks but if i use certain pieces it's really cool this one not the case there's a lot of pieces that either don't change color or look really weird geometry like the specifically the warlock's chest piece has like these this really weird like rib cage uh thing and it's gross and titans i think the only cool piece is like the helmet and the boots and then maybe the chest piece maybe and then hunters i like i said i think a lot of the pieces just are not good um 
Specifically, the arms have like this really weird really triangle metal thing on one of the arms, which I'm a big fan of. Helmet's okay, but at the same time, like I'm, I'm not like, oh my god, I love this helmet. It's just like it's fine. It doesn't like, it doesn't hurt my eyes to see it, but it's like not that pleasing as well. So let me know what you guys think about Season of the Worthy. Season of the Hunt, I'm going to put an A. It's not S tier. It's not that great. But there are really some good pieces of in this set. And it's really cool because you can really uh, target certain themes. So, for example, the Hunters got the Fallen theme, which is super cool. And I use the chest piece and the boots are... Mm, no, it's more so just the chest piece and the cloak that I use a lot. For the Warlocks, you can really do some really cool hive theme stuff because they get they did get the hive theme stuff. And then the Titans actually got uh, Cabal themed. So you can do some really cool stuff if you want to go like certain themes. Uh, my only gripe about it is just the certain things just don't change color or, cha or take colors really weirdly. Specifically, like the bone for the Warlock does not change color, which is really, really unfortunate. And for the for the Hunter, the chest piece actually takes the off color. So you will be fighting that as well. And I do think the Hunters visually looks like loud, which is also like a, a big reason why I'm not the biggest fan of it. The helmet also, I really don't like. The Titans is like the only piece that I'm like, I like a lot of the pieces. The only thing I don't like is the fact that the arms are very asymmetrical, like to the point where one side looks way too heavy than the other. But I mean, that's pretty much Destiny 2 at this point. For Season of the Chosen, I'm probably going to put it in front of Season of the Hunt. And that's actually kind of not fair because I know I'll, I'll, the different classes are going to give me shit for this. So I'll put it in front of B because for me, let me explain my thought process. First and foremost, I'm a hunter. For the hunters, the hunter got the best ornaments from that season. I think theirs just looks amazing. The helmet is okay, but the cloak, super fucking cool. You can do some Japanese themed stuff that I've done in the past, or you can just put a helmet that takes off the cloak and you have a hoodless cloakless helmet or hunter, which is really, really cool. The boots are super cool. The chest piece is really cool if you want to go for a tactical look. The arms even usable as well. So like a lot of the pieces in this is really usable with the helmet being the only piece that I'm like whatever's on. The Titan, unfortunately, there's just so many pieces that I'm not the biggest fan of. The only piece I've ever used from this set and not like in a bad way was the arms and the mark. I think those two are really, really cool. The helmet is goofy as fuck and the chest piece has the problem of having something in their back. And I don't like stuff like on their back. I just think it's super dumb. And then Warlock, I think everything looks really trash. Uh, Warlock's really lost on that one. So that's why I'm going to put it in B tier. But just just know that for me, it's it's a tier for hunters it's really good i would almost put it at s tier because the pieces are just that like versatile for season of the splicer i'm gonna go this is rough because i do like the armor set um man i'm gonna put it right here because i do enjoy it more than season of the worthy and arrivals but i do think it's so niche that most people are not going to be using it the Hunters got some pretty cool stuff, specifically for me. The boots are probably the best pieces and the arms. The arms and the boots are probably the best pieces from this whole set. Uh, for the Warlocks, I think the chest piece is super cool. I think the arms are super cool. And the bond actually is really cool as well, especially if you use it for like a tactical look, which I have made before, because it kind of looks like plexiglass, like you're like, like bulletproof uh, armor or whatever. Um, and then boots are pretty cool as well. For the Titans, I think all of the set's pretty trash. I'm going to be real with you guys. I think the boots are pretty bad. I think the chest piece is pretty bad. I think the arms are pretty bad. Everything's bad for the Titans. I think so. Like I just, the helmet, I just don't like at all. The arms are just kind of, I, I, again, I just think all of it is bad for Titans, but for everyone else, I think they got some good stuff and that's why I'll put it in B tier because it's kind of the same thing with the season of the Chosens, where it's like everyone got some good armor except this class, which in this case would be the Titan. So let me know what you guys think so far. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty okay with like where the armor sets are right now. I think these are pretty good, just because uh, I would actually go this one right here. I think the rivals actually that bad, so I, I think C is probably the better thing, because I've used a lot more pieces for the for season of the worthy sets than arrivals. Arrivals I 
never use like I'm like I never use their armor sets just because again I'm not the biggest fan of it for seasons of the lost I <clears throat> I I'm gonna go in front of a because all of the classes got some super dope armor like warlocks got some cool a cool chest piece the helmet is pretty cool the arms are super dope like the the like the wrapped arm looks so cool the boots are decent and i think the bond is super dope the titans also got some cool sets i think the chest piece everyone and their mom uses that one the uh helmet also everyone and their mom uses it to, for for good reason it's really really good and the boots is also really cool i've used that in multiple sets as well mark is cool i just don't think i don't like the front it's too bulky and i think the only piece that i don't know off the top of my head would be the arms but i would take an educated guess and say it's actually not bad at all for the hunter i think the only set that looks is bad in this set is probably the arms and sometimes the boots and i say sometimes because it looks cool in certain sets but the chest piece is okay the helmet is okay i think the cloak is super dope so I, for me i think the hunters lost out on this one barely but not by much because the titans and warlock got some dope pieces but it as a whole it all looks super cool for season of the risen i'm gonna go this is rough um i'm gonna go in front of arrivals now let me explain why as much as i love that it's basically season of the undying but cabal themed the fact that a lot of the armor if not all of the armor in season of the risen takes the off shader i would actually love this if it didn't take the off shader but it does take the off shader which if you guys don't know what that means it basically means uh if a shader is showing you like red white and black then an off color would be a color that's not even shown in the actual picture so it would be like oh the off color is purple it would actually take the purple of this so that's kind of the off color of what i'm talking about so that's the only gripe I have about this armor set. And I talk about it in the review of the armor because everything about that armor is super cool. It's just, unfortunately, the shader is shader situation is just really, really bad. And that's not even getting into the armor because the Titans have one of the worst arms in the game, specifically from this armor set, because one side is completely anorexic while the other side is completely bloated and it looks really, really bad. Um, the helmets are okay. I think the hunter definitely probably has the best helmet because the titans look goofy and the warlocks also look goofy but they're better because they're actually scion helmets so at that point i'm like okay it's cool but the only piece that the titans got that that's actually really really cool would most likely be the boots and the chest piece if you shader it in a different way uh for the warlocks i think honestly not a lot of good sets from this uh pieces i mean uh, the boots is fine i definitely have used the boots in set in some sets the chest piece is super cool as well it's just again you're fighting the shader for this for the hunter i'm gonna be real with you i think that's the best set from the whole thing the boots i've used in multiple multiple videos specifically for a tactical look that's what the set that i've made a lot with this and the cloak as well i think the cloak is like one of the best cloaks in the game if you want to go for a tactical look because the glow on the backpack actually does change so if you want a glow or a non-glow you can actually do that with certain shaders so for me for a hunter i would actually put this like a tier but because the other classes just got really dicked hard i'm gonna put it in c class because it's just again the titans arms are really fucking terrible the helmet also looks goofy in certain spots and then the warlocks i just i, I i'm gonna be real with you i don't think a lot of the pieces are good so the hunters is probably the only one that got some good stuff um let me know what you guys think for the Apilos following from Season of the Haunted, I'm actually going to go S tier just because not only did we all eat well, like I, I don't think anyone got a bad set or piece, to be quite honest. The Hunters got some really cool pieces with the only caveat being like, I think the boots, specifically the actual like feet look stupid because it doesn't have like bone. So it's just kind of like just a boot. It looks weird other than that it looks super cool the fact the only another thing is the fact that there's certain pieces of the armors that doesn't change color so for the hunters it's going to be the arms have like this red glow that doesn't change color and for the titans i think a lot of the pieces are just super dope you're going to look like a fucking terrifying ass menace when you're wearing this armor set and then for the warlocks the the skull crown just looks amazing the chest piece is also amazing if i did have another gripe 
it would be the fact that the warlocks didn't get like bony bone themed uh boots which is unfortunate because they could have gotten some terrifying things but i do understand why they didn't do it because they have like the robes which i don't i still think that's a lame excuse kids you could have just given us some cool stuff for, for the boots but even with all that being said like it's just the fact that it's probably one of the most unique armor sets we've got in the game and for that reason i'm giving it s plus for sure or s here for the pirate stuff i'm gonna put it in a tier because it's pirate stuff i feel like i should put it really high that being said i rarely use some of the pieces from this set from for everyone it's just uh not saying it's bad i think the titans got some really cool th pieces i definitely th would use the chest piece a lot and even the boots to a certain extent i think the mark is super dope as well the warlocks boots are really cool chest piece is really cool the helmet is super cool and the arms are like okay for the hunters i think a lot of it is really cool i just used the cloak in a video that should be coming out soon and the arms are okay i'm not the biggest fan of it but the chest piece is super cool especially if you go for a cowboy look and the boots are cool as well like i like i like a lot of the pieces from this set i just don't think i have it in my heart to say it's s because it's not so this one is definitely going to be decisive divisive i think because a lot of people really really like the pirate set let me know what you guys think for the season of the seraph set i'm gonna go this is rough because my gut's telling me right here my gut is telling me right here because every class got dope shit let me let me explain why hunters i think your whole set is amazing aside from the chess piece the chess piece is just boring and that's it that's like the main gripe i have about it it's like it's just boring it's just a plate it's just like one big plate armor in your chest and that's it because the arms are super unique they are asymmetrical but they are really cool so i'm like whatever i mean we live in this world where it's just asymmetrical everything um boots definitely super dope love the boots probably my favorite piece from the whole set uh the helmet super dope as well and the cloak actually really cool especially if you uh revolve the chest piece around the cloak because then you can do some cool stuff for the titans i think everything is super dope uh i think the boots are cool if you want to go for like a tactical like almost like a like a urban warrior type thing it's going to be really cool for that the chest piece is cool because uh it's a little bit more bulkier than usual chest pieces the arms i've used in multiple sets helmet also super cool because it's uh very like the glow is super cool and the sh shape is just cool as well for the warlocks uh, the arms i use a lot the helmet is i use a lot i think the only thing that i had to like complain about from the video where i reviewed this was the chest piece the chest piece was just kind of boring i didn't, didn't really like it other than that i think the boots are super cool as well so i definitely will leave this one in s tier uh i'm gonna put it actually over here uh or do this just because the pilot's following set i really really like but I use I find myself using uh, the set from Season of the Seraph a lot more, which is valid because, again, I use a lot of tactical looking armor sets for my guardians just because that's the thing I like to do the most. And I find myself using a lot of this set. And then last but not least, we have the current Season of Defiance armor set. This one I'm going to put this is going to be rough, man. Um. Ah. Uh, I can in good conscience put it in an S. I'm gonna put it here. Um, we're gonna rearrange everything in a bit because I don't think this is the last, but I'm gonna explain why this one's here. This one's here because there's gems that don't change color and there's a few missed opportunities in my opinion. Uh, I know this is the first time I actually say this, but for me, uh, I just don't like the gemstones. Uh, it doesn't change color. If it had changed color, it would go e S tier easily. But because it doesn't, it's going to go at A tier. Probably not the last A, a tier. Uh, we'll get, Actually, we'll do that now. So I think these two are fine where they're at. This is also fine because I do use a lot more of this set than this set. Uh, technically, it would be like this. Um, oh, wait. Technically, it would be like this because the... I use a lot of more I like I use a lot more pieces for the hunter and the warlock and for this set I only use the the hunter set a lot. Uh this set I'm going to do I'm going to do this. 
and I'm gonna do this one's gonna be last. Okay, so it's gonna be like this, and then yeah, this is the order. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Which one do you guys think is bad? Which one do you guys think is good? Do you think my tier list is good? Let me know in the comments below. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Um, before I I end the video again. Uh, my main gripe is just the fact that like the gemstones don't change color and there's some geometry in the armor that I just don't like specifically like Titans. I think their arms should have been a lot bigger and the chest piece should have been a lot bulkier and the mark is a little too big, which is funny. Um, it's just too bulky. It's way too massive for the hunters. I really don't have much to complain about the hunters just because I do think a lot of the pieces do look cool. But I did say in the review video that the arm, specifically the shoulder pad on the right side, it just looks like it's floating and I really don't like that. Other than that, I think a lot of the pieces are really cool. And then the Warlock, I think a lot of the pieces are super cool. Um, it's just that the arms are a little too big and the helmet kind of looks goofy at times just because it's just like one big plate on the forehead. But other than that, it's super cool. Yeah, I really did like it. So. Let me know what you guys think. This is going to be funny because I know a lot of people are going to like look at my set, my tier list and gonna be like, oh, virtuous set at S. I'm not surprised. Like, dude, it's a good set. Like it's, it's there for a reason. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Be safe and I'll see you guys.